Now what I did here was sliced it up a little bit from my line back towards the end and I put X's on all of my waist and the underside here. But I sliced it back so that with my little saw I can come in and rip it here and take this block out because it won't cut three and three sixteenths of an inch. But it'll, it'll cut two and a half inches. So I sliced it up here. Now what I did first was I made this cut, then this one, then this one, then this one, and those four cuts are practice for the line cut, which is the most critical cut. So you start away from your critical cut, work your way towards the critical cut to get your balance, the feel for the saw, and get your footing right before you go to your critical cut. Now I made my vertical cut and my end blocks just fell out with a couple of slices. So I'm going to knock out the slices back and shave it up with the chisel. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it or not. I'll try to zoom in on it. Where I left some line. Left a little bit of line there so that I can chisel it to my line and finish it off. Now also what I do is I'll use a caliper, an inside and an outside caliper. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go to the far end of this timber here where this tenon is going to go in and I'll use an inside caliper in that mortise then I'll transfer that measurement to the outside caliper and use the outside caliper on my tenon here. I'll just show a little bit of cleanup on that tenon there. Then I'll get my calipers and finish it up. Just I thought I'd show what I do with the calipers to uh, fit each joint where it goes and then it, it don't go anywhere else. Alright, I've got the caliper set for the inside of the mortise and I'm going to lay those calipers down like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my outside caliper to my inside caliper. But I'm going to set it a little bit loose. 
so that I have a tight fit. Now I'm going to go back over to the tenon and put this outside caliper on it. Alright, well I've already cleaned up the bottom side. Still got some rough in here, but I know there's shadows in here and you probably can't see it. But I'm going to put the caliper on it now. I'm a little bit looser than I really care for. But I did set my caliper wide because I wanted a tight fit. So I'm not going to shave any more of this here where it was cut with the saw blade. What I'll do is I'll trim up this rough back here from where I put the slices in it. And that's the bottom of the slices where I knocked them out. So all I'm going to do is take the top off of them. Maybe even show, leave a little bit of saw blade showing. A little bit of kerf. So that I'll be a little bit tighter. I zoomed in on it a little bit, maybe you can see some of it. check again with the caliper. I'm good. A little bit looser than I really wanted, but we have to live with it. Now this tenon is finished except for chamfering the edges. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before or not, but uh, one thing that I was advised of that I'll mention is to not leave your chisels laying on this wet green wood overnight. Uh, I never leave mine on, on uh, green wood. Uh, this is pine. It's, uh, it's wet enough that my gloves get wet after working with them for uh, several hours. Uh, but the moisture in the wood uh, we'll get, get into your metal on your chisel and uh, cause more rust than just uh, air moisture. I always put them in the sheath, take them off of the wet wood. I, I take all of my tools off of the wet wood before I uh, call it a day. I will also mention I am not a uh, timber framer. I'm learning timber framing and uh, all of this is in preparation to uh, build me an RV carport. <clears throat> so I'm not a professional timber framer. I'm an auto body repair technician and uh, that's why you see me feeling these joints like this because I'm feeling to see if they're flat and if they have humps in them uh, or bad spots in them because you know that's that's what I do all day long you know but I use putty uh, to fill dents and feel it see if it's straight 
Uh, the big difference is doing that. If I if I sand off too much putty, I can put more on it. But uh, doing this, you can't put any back on. So if you make a major mistake, it's uh, start over with another timber or uh, make an adjustment somewhere. But I just thought I'd do some videos, share it with friends and family, and whoever else might enjoy seeing it. Alright, that one's done. Okay, that's the finished join on that one. Try and get a little close up. Now the other end of the timber is going to be an opposite tenon, which will be the same as this one that's already cut out. But I think I'll work on that in the next day or two.